What's going on gamers? This is DBM Gamer. I have some more interesting news on the Vault of Glass as well as some interesting speculation about a race in Destiny. Uh, but before we get into uh, any of that, I've got to get to my shout outs. My shout outs is how I show appreciation back to the community that has gotten me this far. And guys, I got to say I'm getting a lot of positive comments and a lot of likes on my videos. So I, I can't say I appreciate it enough. Uh, but let's get to the shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah, that's his real name. I asked him. Uh, FNG Alcatraz, Adam Cherry, James Gibbs, Dwight Ver, Pull My Finger, Crimson, Stephen Taylor, Purple Hayabusa, and Naxus the Devil Baron. That's a good name. Alright guys, so I don't know if you had a chance to uh, check out the interview that Bungie did at the uh, PAX panel discussion. But if you had a chance to check it out, at the uh, portion of the video where they're talking about public bubbles and, and Bungie seems to be all about bubbles these days if you're uh, into that. But at any rate, they were discussing a raid bubble and one of the panelists mentioned you could see them building something and then he corrected himself or doing something else you have never seen before. So the fact that he kind of made that sort of slip up and sort of tried to correct himself, the, uh, the whole building something thing, kind of got me curious. If they were discussing the entrance way of how to get into the Vault of Glass, uh, Bungie also kind of touched base on that too during their weekly news update. Uh, when they were asked the question, one of them said that they read somewhere that it took 45 minutes just to open the door in the raid, and what was the deal with that? Uh, the response for the question was this. Uh, for the majority of the raid encounters, you're going to need to work as a group. That group of six is trying to form a metaphorical key, which opens a given encounter's lock. So when you take these two bits of information and you kind of compare and contrast them together, really what it looks like to get into the Vault of Glass is you're going to have to do possibly a bit of puzzle solving. Uh, if they stood around there for possibly 45 minutes, even if they were kind of dicking around a little bit, there actually is a bit of possible puzzle solving to get into the vault. So it turns out that you won't need a glass cutter. You won't need a hammer. What you'll actually need to do is cooperation with your fire team to get into the vault of glass. Now as far as what is the puzzle, I had a couple theories on that as well. Initially I thought that maybe it was sort of a, like a lever system. I don't think that it would take a team of six people to figure out, hey, pull a lever, hey, pull a lever, hey, pull a lever. It's most likely you may have to stand in a certain spot uh, in different possible areas or the fact that they're mentioning possibly building something. They may mean literally building something. You may actually need to push like changing Vex blocks around. I don't know, um, it, but it's really intriguing. Uh, suffice to say, uh, when this game comes out, you'll see me standing outside the Vault of Glass trying to figure my way into there. Now, next up is some interesting speculation that I had. In about the middle of last week, Bungie held a uh, Google Plus video hangout conference with several different members, Deej, the community manager, being amongst one of them. And uh, during the conference call, I kind of caught this little uh, tidbit here. Now, my takeaway was a quote directly from Deej. He says that strikes add extra levels of detail such as alien hierarchy, what their motivations are, and how they reproduce. Now I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a spit take moment for me. I think he kind of giggled himself a little bit. But when I really started to think about it, my thought processes ran like this. I'm fairly certain that how the Cabal will reproduce, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what he was referring to in this statement, but I believe the Cabal will reproduce by cloning. Okay, I, th I would have swore I've heard that or, or read that somewhere. Now, as far as the Vex, I have a pretty interesting theory that I, I really think is so dead on that I'm scared to say it, but that's not what I'm going to discuss here. The one that kind of caught my interest was, what about the Hive? How would the Hive reproduce? I had one of my own subscribers happen to mention a similarity between the Hive Thrall's feet and the Dreg's feet. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Could possibly, perhaps, the Thralls be reanimated dregs, and if they are, what does that make the rest of them? Could it be possible that the Hive, which is a race that comes from the dead, 
and you even get a trophy referring to them once you kill 200 of them with precision headshots, Bane of the Dead, could they possibly be other species? So I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, how would this all link up as to what is what? Well, the, uh, the notorious High Vogar could be a mutated cabal. As far as the Acolyte, that could just be a simple human or awoken that's reanimated. And as far as the Knight, they possibly could be a mutated Titan that would explain the uh, slow movement and the armor plating on them. But the one I couldn't seem to crack were the Wizards. Basically, it was kind of my breakthrough that this might be actually true. Wizards draw their energy from the darkness to fire their energy shots from their hands. Turns out, Warlocks draw their energy from the light of the Traveler. So if the Traveler is giving light to the Warlocks to use, the darkness may be giving the Hive energy for them to use. All this does is just solidify a theory that the Hive are the most closely related to the darkness. Think about it. The Traveler reanimated the Guardians to protect it. The darkness could have reanimated the Hive to protect itself as well. I don't know man, it's pretty interesting food for thought. Alright, one thing I wanted to mention before I get out of here. Uh, there's this cool website called DestinyPlanetView.com. If you've not managed to check it out, you really need to go over there. It's effectively like Google Earth, except it's Google Planetary. You can literally go anywhere within the Destiny solar system to all the different planets. I myself spent a little bit of time on Mars. And man, I gotta tell you, it just really opened my eyes to be able to just walk around on that desert planet and just see all the different sites. And if you look closely, you will see some pretty interesting tidbit to older videos of my own. Uh, one of my older videos, I happened to mention that the Vex are on Mars and they're fighting the Cabal and the reason why they're fighting is that it has something to do with the Black Garden. Well I just happened to run across this little Vex Conflux block which led me to this image. See that weird teal looking area? Do you think that's possibly a path to the Black Garden? I know I do. Alright guys, well that's all I got for today. If you like this type of content feel free to drop a like or a comment or if you just want to see more hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, have a good one.